So my name is Claire Andrews, um, I'm a, a GP trainee in Tower Hamlets and I'm currently working in the paediatrics department at the Royal London. Cool. And can you just say a bit about why GP trainees in particular are supporting this strike action today? So I think as trainees we are affected by the the cuts to the pay but also to by the hours that will be extended um, while we're training. So for the three years that we are training we'll be affected by it because we are in hospital and doing out of hours lots of it. Um, but also I think we feel solidarity with the rest of the trainees in all professions across, um, across the specialties. Um, that if it affects them it affects us as well and also we know that it will affect the number of people becoming not just GP trainees but also becoming doctors in the first place and that we know is not good for the NHS generally. Um, makes our lives more difficult as GPs um, if there's fewer people in specialities and we can't refer them in as much, there's no support in hospitals and we know that our, ultimately we care about our patients and if they're going to be jeopardised and their safety put at risk by the changes to the contract, that's not good for anyone. Lots of talk at the moment about an emergency, a crisis in general practice. How, what kind of links do you see between what's going on in general practice and, 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 and the kind of uh, the, the, the government policy towards junior doctors? So I think uh, there's been a lot of cuts generally around the NHS, or they say that um, the, the NHS budget is protected. Um, it may well be in some areas, but I think there's areas which are around like public health and things like family planning and alcohol services and drug services, which aren't funded necessarily directly by the NHS, but around like from local authorities. So that impacts um, on people's social health um, and that impacts directly on their health so that means that the workload for GPs generally increases um, because uh, so many of your so much of your health is determined by social things um, and so that has impacted a lot on general practice um, and so again with the link with the contract if they're going to struggle to uh, recruit uh, doctors and uh, GPs generally it's not good for the NHS generally. Uh, obviously this is the second day of action do you think do you think junior doctors can win this dispute and, 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 and make the government compromise I I I really hope so I don't think there can be any other option if this goes through we feel I think lots of us that we actually are a quite a powerful privileged group of people and if the government can beat us as doctors they we worry about what's going to happen to nurses and um, the rest of the healthcare professions we've been told that um, agenda for change which is a which is what lots of other health professionals are employed under is going to be looked at next and I, I think if we don't win this there's not much hope for a lot of other people so it, I don't know whether we'll win but I really really hope we do